The next plant constituent that both you and I are going to look at is almost a paradox to itself, meaning that if an individual has a difficult time sleeping or achieving a restful state due to stress, this one particular plant constituent seems to help alleviate that antagonist. As well, as many of you may recognize, octocosinol, because it's been taken by a lot of runners and cyclists or any endurance athletes themselves to do just that, to help increase endurance. Hence, the paradox. Helps sustain energy, helps sleep easier if you can't sleep due to stress. With that in mind, let's go into the public citation title as follows. Cannot sleep due to stress, here is the cure. All right, that's the words, not mine. I like to see redundancy or see the study repeated a few times before you ever hear the word cure. That's a strong terminology. But nevertheless, let's proceed forward. Everyone empirically knows that stressful events certainly affect sound sleep. Scientists in the Japanese Sleep Institute found that the active component there were sugar cane and other natural products may ameliorate stress and help having sound sleep. Octocosinol is abundantly present in various everyday foods such as sugar cane, rice bran, wheat germ oil, bees, wax, etc. The crude extract is polycosinol, which you may recognize from helping lower cholesterol where octocosinol is the major constituent. Polycosinol and octocosinol have already been used in humans for various other medical conditions. With that in mind, let's proceed into the study citation. Beautifully interesting, I should say fascinating discoveries in regard to utilizing octocosinol, at least in the animal model. Citation title, octocosinol restores stress-affected sleep in mice by alleviating stress. All right, study participants, where we went through that. Dosage of materials, it's right there for you to review. Results, one, octocosinol did not induce sleep in normal mice, meaning if there wasn't a problem to fix, it didn't try fixing it. Unlike a drug, which could take an individual which has no problems falling asleep, feel tired and groggy the entire next day, overkill. Octocosinol just help achieve balance so they can get to that restful state, but not beyond that, which is number two. Octocosinol induces a significant amount of REM, remember, is rapid eye movement. So N means non-rapid eye movement. Sleep in mildly stressed mice. Three, N-R-E-M, non-rapid eye movement. Sleep was increased and sleep latency was decreased dose dependently by octocosinol administration in mice. Four, octocosinol induces sleep by increasing the number of N-R-E-M episodes and by decreasing wake episodes. So sleep for more restful. Five, octocosinol effectively decreased blood plasma corticosterone, a marker of stress. That's the interesting part about it. It just seemed to help reduce down those stress hormones, which may be the reason why an individual can't sleep or sleep restful. Easy. All right, to further go, on with the research. Plasma corticosterone levels were significantly reduced after octocosinol at 200 milligrams per kilogram administration, which is quite a bit for the human. I'll, I'll do the math for you in a second suggesting a decrease in stress level. Octocosinol induced changes in sleep-wake parameters in stressed mice were comparable to values in normal mice, meaning just restored balance. Together, these data clearly show that the octocosinol does not alter normal sleep. It clearly alleviates stress and restores stress-affected sleep. Numerically, if you want to build, uh, uh, do the equivalence at 200 milligrams per kilogram uh, dose for a mouse. A 150 pound test subject is approximately 68 kilograms, so 68 times 200 equals about 13.6 grams. That's an awful lot. If they could work further to either uh, purifying uh, or I should say increasing the potency so you could take less, that's for the future to determine. At the lower dose end, 50 milligrams per kilogram, more achievable, that's about 3.4 grams. Other cool notes, and there are a lot of cool notes in regard to the study, and it's an open uh, study, so you can review it all on your own without having to pay uh, a pay-to-read type fee. So this is the other notes that or I found uh, a significance in the short period of time that we have here. Octocosinol supplements are widely used by humans and found to be effective for various conditions, some of which are supported by scientific studies. Despite its enormous use, almost nothing is known about its mechanism of action, its blood-brain barrier penetrability, or target brain region or neural types. Based on our findings, being the researchers, it can logically be argued that octocosinol directly or indirectly acts on the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA axis 
to lower the stress levels by decreasing the corticosteroid secretion. This reduced stress level results in normalization. That's the beautiful part about it, just to normalize, not force an action by breaking something else. A physiological function such as sleep. You read a little bit more of a note there in regard to octocosinol and Parkinson's, you may see that, but that's for a whole other uh, video. So, to conclude what, what the researchers said or stated, insomnia and poor quality of sleep results in chronic sleep loss that is associated with various other sleep and metabolic disorders. In today's world, majority of population experience lifestyle related or other types of stress, a major factor affecting sleep quali quality and quantity. Here's their quote. For inducing potential, being a natural compound and part of food materials are advantages over synthetic drugs. And hence, it can be assumed that octocosinol may be devoid of side effects or adverse reactions to human, the human body. Keep in mind, just assume to this point. Hence, we strongly suggest that octocosinol could be used as a therapy for stress-induced insomnia. Keep in mind, this was an animal model. This information has to be further tested in humans to see if those results carry out, to see maybe even less is required as which was required to get the same results in the animal model itself. However, an incredibly, incredibly promising food substance, which at this point in time appears to be extremely safe, yet yielding tons of benefit, including bringing the body back to normal if the individual has difficulty sleeping due to stressful of daily events or any stressful event per se. This is Ralph Turkiano signing off once again. I hope you find this information of use. And as always, look forward to seeing you all in seven days. Catch you then. Bye.